My name is Anne Pluto, and I'm going to read a poem called Dog and Bed. Your death was easier in winter, the dog still alive, my constant companion learning to navigate the world with only his right eye. I had to bring myself completely to the table, the one where I hand fed him in the kitchen, floor disguising the medications to look and taste like treats. He was brave. The cold January afternoon when you died, he sat next to me, suspended, the pewter silence of the new year pressing in my throat. The hospice nurse came to fill out papers and the funeral director sent two young men. They were late. It was a good day for death, and we waited, warped in silence. When they arrived, the dog walked to the fence to guide them in patiently, sitting by the hospital bed as they wrapped you in your sheet, lifted your washed and broken body onto a gurney. The dog watched. They zipped, and once again, he led them out to the gate. I turned off the bed, the mattress deflating, the snake-like hissing at its unnatural end. All is silence. That night, I still slept on the couch. I had forgotten how to use a bed.